What's going on guys, Eric here from MajorLeagueTrade.com. Coming at you with a trade review breakdown video here on Tesla. So I uh, went ahead and put this trade up today. I talked about it in the trade room uh, on Discord and then I also went ahead and put it up on Instagram and did a quick little poll there to see uh, if you guys wanted a trade review video. If you're watching this for the first time and you're not following me on Instagram, it's just at Major League Trading on Instagram there. So anyways, People wanted to have a quick poll or a quick video done on this trade review for today. So I want to jump into that, uh, show you guys, you know, what it is that I did and why and things like that. Um, and the big thing was I day traded Tesla options here, uh, and to the tune of, uh, $6,420 on the day came from the options that I day traded. I have a swing trade in there as well right now, which I'll show you guys. Uh, and then I'll you know give you the levels and what it was I was watching for, uh, what the markets were doing at the time, why I took the trade, all of those fun things. So let's dive into this. And first things first, I'll pull over uh, just so you guys can see you know what it is that I was actually trading there. Um, I was trading Tesla 240 calls here for this week. They're going to expire in just three days here, um, and. They're currently um, market price right now, $3.85. You can see Tesla's pulled back a little bit here off the highs of the day there. And I can actually bring over, this is what I like to personally use here. Oops. Um, no, not that. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, this is what I personally like to use is the... Um, Active trader window here for Thinkorswim. So if you guys are not using this when it comes to entering your stock orders, your options orders, futures, things like that, uh, this dome or depth of market ladder window here, really, really helpful. And you can actually chart the option as well as have this on your screen. So this is what I like to personally use. And again, we're working with the 240 calls here today that expire in four days and we can, or sorry, expire in three days now. And we can see that here. $6,420 on the day here from this Tesla position. So let's dive into the charts and I'll show you guys uh, the rest of this. So what I was watching here in Tesla, uh, a couple things. I had levels on my charts from a few days ago and I had levels, you know, kind of above where we could run into. And if we get through those levels, then, you know, kind of where am I looking for us to go? Well, the first key level that we want to take a look at here is going to come in at 224.61s down in here. Um, and if we look at this you know, top right chart here, this is a 987 tick chart. So 224.61 was a support level that I had here on this day when we traded down into it. We traded 224.28. This level was not yet in place. Uh, we rallied up from there and took out these swing highs from back in here. You can see just ever so slightly took those out. That allowed us to establish a new pivot here at 228.46s here on the pullback. And we were able to pull back once, rally, and then touch it one more time just yesterday before we rallied up just in front of these upper levels here of 238.85s and 240.83s. So this morning, what I saw is, you know, a gap down here in Tesla. Now, this is where, you know, if you're trading, stocks and options and things like that, uh, options on individual equities, and you're not watching what the actual markets are doing, then I think you're doing yourself a really, really big disservice. And what I mean by that is the reason I took Tesla today, not just you know the pattern from yesterday, uh, the levels that I have above, any of that stuff, it was just purely on a relative strength basis as well, right? So if we're looking you know, for the market to potentially go long and there's a stock that is, you know, outperforming and is nice and green, it's moving, you know, whatever the case is, that's something that has relative strength to the overall markets. So if we're right in our analysis on the market moving higher, that stock that we're watching should in fact move higher with it as well and potentially at a better rate than the market. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull over here a four grid in the uh, for the s and the nasdaq russell and the dow here and what we'll notice i'm going to blow this one chart up here what we'll notice at you know 
this moment in time this morning when the NASDAQ opened up, we're gapping down, you know, pretty decently in the NASDAQ and Tesla's gapping down, you know, just a little bit there, right? Two, three bucks. But notice the difference from yesterday, the price action from yesterday in the NASDAQ compared to the price action in Tesla. Tesla yesterday was just a like rocket to the moon, right? It just went higher all day long. The NASDAQ, you know, went lower first, tried to go higher here, ran into some resistance, and then came back down on the day. So if we're looking, you know, as I'm scrolling across here, this might make it a little easier. So this left chart right here is the Tesla position or Tesla chart. Uh, this one on the right here is the NASDAQ. So, you know, as we're coming along here, oops, um, as we're coming along here, you can see, you know, yesterday's move in Tesla was nice and green to the upside. If you're tracking the cursor there, you'll see that nice green move to the upside. The NASDAQ here, however, you know, sold off from, you know, basically 130 all the way till the close. Tesla went what? Just base sideways. So, I noticed that coming into this morning and, you know, as we started to rally up here in Tesla, I'm like, okay, we're going to break out through previous highs here, this 238 and change and run up to our next levels here, 238.85s, 248.83s, 241.68s. And then there's a few more levels above 244.67s, 47.38s, and then up to 53.22s. Now, I went ahead and stepped into a position early here, right at about 9.42 this morning, as Tesla was rallying up, taking out these highs, I went ahead and stepped into a long position there. And again, at that same moment in time, the NASDAQ is just pushing lower here, right? So 15 minutes in the day, NASDAQ is selling off here. NASDAQ futures making the move lower. We had 76.33 as a support level here on the day where we were expecting price to, to rally from. We had 76.97.75s here is a resistance level where we we're looking for price to fall from. And basically we were looking for a pullback to 76.33s and then from there a rally up into 76.97.75s, which we did get. And again, I'm seeing, okay, market's pulling back, getting closer to those 76.33s. Tesla looks like it wants to just take off. If the market finds support down there, then Tesla should move nicely with the markets. If the market can find support and start moving higher from there, Tesla could be at, you know, 247.38. That's what I typed in the room today and talked about when I was on the mic. So I went ahead and stepped into a Tesla position there and, uh, you know, of course, managed that position out as we rallied here. And I ended up getting out right up in through here. Um, so I can get you the uh, fill times for my exits there. My fill times were 2.34 all the way up to about 2.36, or sorry, 2.42. Um, 2.36 to 2.42, and then I got out the last little bit that I had on at 3.36. So let's start taking a look at uh, 2.36 in the afternoon, which would come in right through here. So inside of this 15 minutes right here, is when I was able to exit the Tesla position pretty much right at the dead highs of the day. And then I got out of the rest at 336, somewhere kind of right down in through here. And the reason I got out there um, is that I saw we were coming back down towards this 240.83 level. And if we were to break this zone again to the downside, uh, then I was looking for the market to make a move lower, specifically here in Tesla as well potentially back down to 238.85s. So I wasn't willing to sit through that. But the thing I wanna to touch on again here, why I was able to get out up here kind of right into you know highs of the day is gonna come from the markets again. I'm watching the four main indices here and we had a, a price zone up here, you know, 2922s to 2923s for the S&P 500s that we were looking for price to potentially stall out at on, on the day. And we had the same, you know, 76, 97, 75 here in the NASDAQ. Now, again, when you're trading these into these futures markets, one market might get to, you know, its target here and the other market might not quite be there yet. And then you'll need that other market to kind of catch up. And that's basically what happened to the, uh, today here in the S and P's. 
S&Ps hadn't quite tagged this, you know, 29.22 to 29.23 zone. And again, I didn't mark this up uh, on my chart, but I'll go ahead and just throw this in there for right now. So we ended up rallying right into these targets here. And look at the time. When I started exiting my position here was right there. As the market starts rallying up into, you know, these upper levels that I have for the S&Ps, and then when the S&Ps actually hit this, I'm out of my full position. That coincides with right up here at the very top of the day for Tesla. So if you guys are not watching the market in relation to the stocks you're trading, specifically, you know, Tesla, NASDAQ, um, stuff like that, and watching the overall divergences and price levels and stuff when it comes to the indices themselves, like I said, I think you guys are doing yourselves a great disservice when it comes to trading these markets. So that would be my biggest takeaway uh, for you guys here from this video, as well as you know the management and stuff like that uh, of holding on to this position. So into the position at about 940 this morning, exited the position at about 240 in the afternoon. Um, so all in all, what was that? Like five hours worth of uh, being in that trade specifically. So thank you guys so much for coming on and uh, checking out this video here on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys, um, since I am going to be posting this right now, uh, for those of you that have asked me about how to get funded here with, you know, 50000 100000 $150,000 in capital to trade with, um, I'm going to be hosting a special live webinar here coming up this Thursday. There's going to be a link in the description below. Uh, so go ahead and click that link if it is before Thursday, October 10th here. Um, and click that link if it's afterwards. I'm going to make sure that this forwards over and get you guys the information there as well, even if I'm not running a special live webinar then. But I will see you guys Thursday, October 10th, 8 p.m. Eastern here. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. Be sure to click that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so you know when I go live, and give me a thumbs up. Take care, guys.